$1,190, you can get a full-on bag. So why would you even think about getting a mini pochette? Like, but as the prices get higher and higher, it'll be interesting to see what stays on the shelf. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Usually every year, probably since like 2017, have been tempted to buy from the Louis Vuitton Christmas animation. This all started, yeah, I'm going to say like around 2016. I was influenced by one of my friends who collected the Christmas mini pochettes. Now, I am lucky enough to have experienced the prices back then, back in like, yeah, I think it was like 2016, 2017. Uh, the mini pochettes used to be around the $400 mark Australian, and I know that before that it was even less. I was really into these mini pochettes because they had really cute illustrations on them. Last year I even gave into uh, a Japan one, and there was like a Hollywood pochette, which I also got tempted to buy, and over the years I've bought and sold these pieces because it's always been a bag that I've wanted to buy instead and I usually find these very easy to sell once I'm done with them and I just put the money towards a bag usually because they're very collectible pieces but I find because they're so pretty and I, I get scared the print is going to chip off I get a bit scared to p use them in my handbags because I know they'd be great to hold like lipstick and keys or whatever but I get a bit scared to use these and I find them also a little bit too small to carry as a handbag. So the mini pochette never worked out for me but this year they had some really adorable designs and I had to super talk my way out of it this year um, and not give in. It's funny because this year the mini pochettes have gone up so much there in Australia. As I said, they used to be like $400. Now it's $1,180, which for a mini pochette is a significant amount. Surprisingly, guys, they're still in stock. So obviously Louis Vuitton have priced themselves out with this one because usually these mini pochettes would sell out within five minutes on the website when they were launched but now they they're readily available so i would say a lot of people are finding it hard to justify this price point for a mini pochette anymore and i wanted to talk about things that are similarly priced from other designers that i feel like are kind of worth it more than this mini pochette guys if you did buy this mini pochette i'm not trying to shame you or anything i get it i get the hype the um, Soul one in particular is ador adorable, like I love it. Um, however, I sometimes, when I'm trying to convince myself not to buy something, I think about other things that are similar, that are similarly priced, and ask myself, what would I prefer to buy really? And am I just getting sucked into hype? So, the first thing that I would rather buy for the same price, so given that this is 1180 Australian dollars, there's actually a small QB bag on the Loewe website at the moment, which is on sale. So Loewe are having a sale online and it's $1,190. So $10 more and you're getting a Loewe bag. This bag is a really practical, handy size. It fits all the daily essentials. It's in a super trendy color, which is this like neon green, which I absolutely love. I do have a Gypsy Air in a very bright color similar to this. And I know Fendi at the moment are doing some incredible um, like lime colors as well. I know Dale just got a really adorable Fendi uh, peekaboo in this color. So, yeah, for $1,190, you can get a full-on bag. So why would you even think about getting a mini pochette? Like, you know, think about it, guys. I think the Loewe is a little bit more worth it. Only that, guys, but I've kind of had an itch to buy the the Brider Brack case from Hermes. Now, I know I'm not saying it right, guys. I it's Brie de Break. I'm not sure. I'm not French. But this little cosmetics case, similarly to the QB, a lot of people use it as a handbag. Now, given that this is an Hermes piece, the price is kind of reasonable. It's $820, which is cheaper than the mini pochette. And it is a lot bigger. You could fit more things in it. And, you know, similar to the mini pochette, you could kind of use it as a bag, even though it's not supposed to be one. And you could even like put a little twilly on it. I've seen people buy little things from Etsy to convert the straps and uh, turn it into like a chain bag or attach a crossbody strap to it. And it's a it's a little piece from Hermes, so it has a lot of desirability to it because it is Hermes. 
and I feel like the price, I'd kind of rather get this than the mini pochette. So another bag that is very similarly priced to the mini pochette is the Mew Mew Spirit Fail mini bag. Uh, when this bag first came out, I think it was like last year or two years ago, I remember it being under a thousand dollars maybe it was around 700 and Mew Mew have bumped up the price of this bag however it is still cheaper than the mini pochette and it is a bigger bag it still has that little bit of desirability to it because it says Mew Mew so it's a designer piece and I think it would be a really cute little summer bag uh, it comes in many other colors as well the polka dot one looks quite cute and you could even add a little pom-pom to it or something fun is it as collectible as the mini pochettes um no it's definitely not going to itch that scratch but you know i think as a piece it's probably going to be a little bit more versatile and easy i know i would definitely wear this more than a mini pochette um as a bag myself another bag which i think is much more worth it and i did actually buy this bag and return it because i returned it guys because i bought a mini bolide and i also bought another bag uh, which was around a thousand dollars from hermes which i haven't shown you guys yet but stay tuned for that video later um so yeah i bought that those two items and i sold a chanel bag and then i sent this bag back and it says jw anderson x run hanny collaboration uh pochette now on my teresa this bag is 945 dollars honestly this bag feels much more substantial than a mini pochette now guys i haven't even mentioned louis vuitton's quality lately now when i started buying mini pochettes like back in 2016 the chains felt more hefty um the overall feel of the pochettes felt better quality now, guys, I'm going to say the quality has gone down. Like, if you compare older mini pochettes to the newer ones, it has gone down. And it just doesn't feel like an $1,000 item to me. Like, when it gets to $1,000, I'm like, you know what? I can probably buy something better. And I'd say this JW Anderson bag is actually feels a lot more substantial than the pochette not only that guys but this is a collectible limited edition piece has a fun illustration on it fits a lot more than the mini pochette and i think it's a much more useful and honestly more interesting bag like if you saw someone wearing this compared to a mini pochette i'd be more interested in this personally but that's just me i also wanted to mention this other chain bag from the same jw anderson collection this one is not much more ex more expensive than the bumper bag and actually if this goes on sale i'm gonna be very tempted guys because i actually really like this one with the chain and i like the contrast of the pink with the blue and the orange yeah i'm gonna be watching that one guys i really hope it goes on sale even though i'm on shopping ban another hype thing that uh, i got bombarded with in my emails is uh this new telfa x ug bag now there's going to be another telfa drop in on the friday 25th of november okay so like what today i think <laughs> is it already up maybe you missed it but there's like this ug collaboration which is very soon and you know telfa bags they're pretty affordable for like that little bit of a, I guess it's a little bit of a flex. Like when people see someone with a Telfar, they're like, oh, wow, cool. Um, and I do have a few Telfar bags. Where are they? What? Yeah, so I think it would be really adorable to get the UGG collaboration shopper in this size in the black. And I think it will be around the $200 mark, which is a lot less than the mini pochette. Personally, I think I would get more use out of that. But each to their own want to mention uh the fendi 25th anniversary nano baguette charm in particularly the green i find quite juicy and striking uh this bag i feel like in the pictures it doesn't do it justice but seen it on uh, i think i saw it on dell's video and um that speedy 20 girls video it is a really juicy green guys like it looks delicious and it just glitters it looks really fancy guys now this is 1650 so it is like you know about 500 dollars more than the mini pochette but still i would rather get this than the mini pochette i think this is such a stunning piece and it looks more like a like a statement thing on your outfit it's like glittering and i don't know i just think this is an awesome piece and it's from fendi so it's not that much of a difference with this in the mini pochette and finally guys um, I got advertised on Instagram, this bag, 
It's the Marc Jacobs Peanuts tote bag. It's $485. I think this bag is so adorable and it looks very practical and it's less than half the price of the mini pochette. And I mean, look at the color scheme, guys. It is adorable. Um, when I clicked on it, it was still available, but I think it's sold out now. But so just guys, look, keep an eye out for this tote bag if you want to get it because I think that this is adorable and I'd rather buy this than the mini pochette. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed my blabby video today. I just wanted to talk about, you know, whether, do you do we really think that the mini pochette is worth a thousand dollars anymore? Because I don't think a lot of people do as it's still in stock. And, you know, given that these used to sell out in like five minutes, I think a lot of people are starting to feel priced out of uh, Louis Vuitton and perhaps even Chanel at this point. I don't know. I don't think it's going to take a lot for people to stop buying Chanel. But as the prices get higher and higher, it'll be interesting to see what stays on the shelf. Thanks for watching my video and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!